So it's finally time to do that video you guys have been requesting. Okay, this bracelet's getting annoying and loud. But today I'm finally doing the what's on my iPhone video. Um, this has been requested so, so much and I was just like, finally, okay, I'm gonna do it just because I need to procrastinate my speech that's due tomorrow even more that I haven't started. So if you want to see a DIY on how to get this iPhone cover, I will link that in the down bar. You can just go look at my recent videos. So I figured I would answer that question as soon as possible. And now we're going to explore what's on my iPhone. And if you have any other like recommendations of what phone I sh or phone apps I should download, let me know in the comments below because I think that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so the first thing I have is my first page. And I'm going to go over my favorite apps that are on this page. Mm -hmm. You can pause the video if you want. I've recently organized this because I really like to see like my background which is monogrammed because I'm really cool like that. And if you guys want to know how many pictures I have on here, I have 289 or 689. My first favorite app, I don't I mean there's obvious ones like Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that. So I'm not really going to go over those just because I feel like those are kind of like duh, of course. But the first one is Instagram. I've talked about this many times before, and it's just basically another like social networking website, but it's just basically with pictures you post and you have all these filters, and you can like other people's pictures just by double tapping it and people post like arm party pictures on there or arm candy pictures and I post a lot of pictures on there as well. I have 164. As you can see, there's a bunch. And my username on this is CerebelL93X. It's a free app, and you also, this is available on droids now, so that's pretty cool. So welcome to all my droid followers, too. And this one I think is really fun. I don't know if you guys have ever been on um, TSM or TFM. It's Total Frat Move or Total Srat Move. It's just basically the sorority one. This one was like $2, which I know is kind of stupid for me to buy, but I really wanted it at the time because it keeps me entertained when I'm bored. And it just has like just typical sorority things. I don't know. And then under this one, I have the social ones. Um, these are just basically, I have Days Until, which is my countdown to LA. Um, Facebook messaging, Hey to L, Pinterest, and Wigio, which I have to use for my school. And then here's all the games that I have. I'm not really much of a gamer, but I really like the Family Feud app, and I also used to really like Tiny Tower, I got really bored of that. And Solitaire is always a good option, but I also like Fruit Ninja too. And I don't really play them that often, so I'm not going to give away my um, username for them. And I used to have Draw Something, so I know a bunch of you guys are like, download it. Uh, no, I don't like that game. Another great app that I have is called 55K Quotes, and it's this one right here. And you can basically just search a bunch of quotes. I love quotes, and you can favorite them too. Like, I have a bunch of favorite quotes on here, and I don't know, quotes are just really inspirational to me, and so this is my favorite quote app, so, and it's free, so that's always good too. Another app that I never hear about is PickCal. It just looks like this. Um, I have not updated this in a few days, like a week almost. Actually, yeah, it's been a week. And it's just a calendar, but like with pictures on it. And you can see that there's just like a picture a day, and it just is kind of a nice way to remember like memories and stuff and especially I feel, feel like this is going to be really cool to look back on in a few months if I continue to do it just because it's like a diary, you know? I wanted something like that and so I found this one and this one's also free. Another one of my favorite apps, especially if you're in an area that you're not really familiar with and you, when I went to New York City last year, my mom and I used this a ton, especially in like Little Italy because we wanted to make sure like we got the best pizza, of course. So it just kind of, you add the location that you're at and it'll find ones that are close to you. I used this also when I was in Chicago last winter so we could find um, Cheesecake Factor. It's also really good if you're looking for a good cake, cupcakery, is that the right word, um, around you because they have pictures of the cupcakes too. And also, if you follow me on Instagram and you see a bunch of, like, collages of the pictures, what I use for that is pick frame. You just have all these different frames that you can choose from, and you just click which one you want, and you put the picture in it. And the last one I have is IMAP My Run. And this is really good if you're a runner like me, and you just, like, want to map to see how far you ran in a distance, because it's kind of hard to tell, because, I mean, you can guess guesstimate how far you do run but this is very accurate because it turns on like the GPS um, and the navigation on your phone just to make sure that you have like the accurate 
um, depiction of time and distance. So I think that's really cool. And it even, I think, tells you like the amount of calories or something you burnt on that run, which I think is pretty cool. That's what it looks like right there. So that's pretty much my favorite apps. Um, it's pretty easy. I don't really have any like fashion-y ones on here just because I'm pretty boring like that. But if you do have some apps that you would like to request for me to download, I will definitely check them out. So leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.